Hey, this is Dave here. In this video, I'll go over math knowledge that will help you to prepare for your ASVAB test 2023. In this video, I'll go over 16 math knowledge courses that will help you to prepare for your ASVAB, PyCAD, CAT IV, any kind of ASVAB test you want to take. So make sure that you have a pen and a piece of paper that you could learn and you could study and you could also copy. So let's get it started. The first thing we'll learn how to find the area of a parallelogram. If it's length x minus 3 and its height is x plus 5. So you know if you want to find the area of a rectangle, so the formula area equal to length time width. So let's multiply those two um, sides. So this side and that side. So that gives you x minus 3 times x plus 5. So if you multiply using the file method that gives you x square plus 5x minus 3x minus 15. Now combine the like terms so that gives you x square plus 2x minus 15. So the correct answer is letter A. Let's go to the next problem. So if 3 to the power x equal 27 then x equal to what? So if you have a problem like that the first thing you have to do you have to convert the, 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 um, the right side in terms of 3. So what you could do that? So you have 3 to the power x equal to 3 times 3 times 3 so that is 3 to the power third power so now you could say x equal to 3 the rule is if a to the power x equal to a to the power n then x equal to n so that's exactly what i did let's go to the next problem the next problem is simplify 3 over 5x plus x so you know this is a fraction so you know anytime you find a fraction if you want to combine the fraction what do you have to do you have to um find the common denominator so how you could do that so that gives you 3x over 5 plus x so the common denominator here is 5 so what do you need to multiply 5 to get 5 is multiply by 1, multiply by 1. That gives you 3x. Here you need to multiply that by 5, that by 5. That gives you 5x. So now you have to add only the top number. So that gives you 8x over 5, right? So the correct answer is letter C. So the next thing we have to do is um, what are the factors of x square plus 4x plus 3. So you have to find the middle factor. So let's do that. Um, if you could split that 3 into two parts. So let's do that. x squared plus 3x plus x plus 3. So now take the common here. x common x plus 3 and then one common x plus 3 so that gives you x plus 3 times x plus 1 so the correct answer is letter b so the next problem we do the same thing finding the factors so you see like there are two problems from the factors so make sure that you learn this factor very well in order to answer this type of question in the test so let's answer the next question so then multiply this number with that number as you learn and if you want to learn more just download the app it has more explanation so that gives you six so um three times two is six you have to split that so how you could do that two x square right plus three x minus three x y minus two x y minus three y squared so now take the common so what you could take the common in here take the common x so that gives you x 2x um, plus 
3 y and the negative y come in here so that gives you 2x plus 3 y so that gives you 2x plus 3 y times x minus y so the correct answer is answer um, letter C we answer the what is the length of a of the diagonal of a rectangle with base 4 and altitude of 3 so let's draw that so if you could do this so you say what is the length of the diagonal so that means this is the diagonal right so the sides are 3 4 so what you need to do here you said this is a right triangle so you need to do um Pythagorean theorem so what you could do now so you could do a square plus b square equal to c square so this is actually c this is a or this is b so that gives you c square equal to 3 square plus 4 square so that gives you c square equal to 25 and c equal to 5 so the answer is letter c let's go to the next problem so what is 5x times 3x square minus 5 so it's very simple let's multiply that so multiply 5x times 3x squared minus 5 so you have to distribute that you multiply this with that this with that so that gives you 3 times 5 is 15 x square times x gives you x to the power third power minus times plus gives you minus 5 times 5 is 25 x so the correct answer is answer d the next thing we we'll learn what is the sum of 3x cube minus 2x plus 8x then 2x square plus 5x then x cube 2 plus 2x square minus 3x minus 3 so what do you have to do you have to combine the like terms so you could see here x cube and x cube like terms x square with x square like terms then x with x like term and 8 and 3 are like terms so this is also like term in here is 5x so what you could do here so 3x cube with another x cube that gives you 4x cube and then x squared now so 2x squared plus 2x squared gives you 4x squared now you have to do that um, x so 2x minus 3x that gives you negative 5x with this positive 5x so this x actually cancelled out so what else you have left so you have 8 and 3 plus 3 plus 8 minus 3 gives you plus 5 so the correct answer is letter b so let's go to the next problem so the next problem if x equal to 4 which of the following expression does not equal 9 so let's plug that um, and see who is on so if you plug in here is 4 so 3 times 4 is 12 so 12 minus 3 so that gives you 9 so that makes sense so now here is x plus 4 if you put 4 here 4 plus 5 is 9 and if you put this on here is um, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9 but this one is gives you 4 minus 13 gives you negative 9 so this is not the right option so this is the correct answer okay let's go to the next problem so if x plus 3y equal to 7 and y equal to 2 then x equal to what you just need to um, just plug the value y equal to 2 in here so it's very simple this one that gives you x plus 3 times 2 equal to 7 so that gives you x plus 
6 equal to 7 subtract both side by 6 cancel x equal to 1 the correct answer is letter a let's go to the next problem the reciprocal of 3 and 1 fifth is if you want to find a reciprocal the first thing you have to do you have to make this mixed number into improper fraction so what do you do how to do that so let's do it so 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1 is 16 over 5 so reciprocal means you have to flip it so that 5 goes in the top 16 goes in the bottom right so the correct answer is letter c so the next problem we do um what is the area of a triangle with a base 8 and a height of 4 feet so how we could do that so that you know the area of a triangle is base time height divided by 2 so let's follow that so that gives you 8 times 4 divided by 2 so 8 times 4 is 32 divided by 2 gives you 16 so the correct answer is letter C let's go to the next one so the graph of the following equation are a straight line except so you, you know the this is the equation of a um this is the the graphic representation of a straight line look like that right so let's keep that in mind anytime if you see any equation x exponent or y exponent is more than one or less than one that is not a, a straight line so you see all of them has x exponent is 1. So here is here is 1, 1, 1, here is 1, 1, except this one. So that is not a straight line. So that gives you kind of um, the curve, right? So I don't know exactly what curve it look like, but um, you, could, you could check. So the correct answer is letter B. So if, if A equal to 6, B equal to 5, what is the value of x a square minus b square so is it straightforward just plug the value and then do it so that gives you 6 square minus 5 square so 6 6 square gives you 36 minus 25 and then to the power whole square so that gives you 36 minus 25 that is 11 square so 11 is square equal to 11 times 11 equal to 121 so the correct answer is letter b let's do the next problem if 4 over 3 times 3 over 4 equal 5k then what is k so you just need to multiply that you could multiply top to top bottom to bottom or you could just cancel out so that gives you actually 1 equal to 5k and then divide both side by 5 so that gives you k equal to 1 fifth so the correct answer is letter a so the last question is in here inequality so let's do that so if negative 2x plus 8 is less than 30 what is the value of x so let's do it so negative 2x plus 8 less than 30 the first thing you have to do subtract both side by 8 so that gives you negative 2x less than 22 and divided both side by negative 2 that gives you this negative 2 negative 2 cancel out so that gives you x is greater than negative 11 so this is here is some um, takeaway anytime you divide um, a number by negative number in inequality the sign will change so you have you had less than now that become greater than correct answer option is letter C pause the video and practice at least few times to make sure that you understand the concept.
you could download this application it has more practice tests you know there are 15 16 different versions of asbab test and this app actually covered very much everything you need um, to answer the question in the asbab test 